How are you guys doing? Today is Friday, August 27th, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, now that the playoff round of the 2021-2022 Champions League season is officially over, all 32 teams have been announced, and yesterday the 32 teams have been seeded into their eight groups. I'm going to explain how these groups were created and explain, and just kind of walk everybody through this step of the 2021-22 season as we navigate through it one step at a time. So first, looking through each group at a time, and really, but first, get looking before getting into it, just getting a look into how it into how the group stage works. Once every team qualifies for this round, they're going to be out of these groups of four. Every team is going to play each other once, which means every team is going to play the other three teams once, making it a, making it a, a total of six games for each team within each group. And each team is then measured against one another and within each group uh, by the amount of points that they collect from the table. Three points is for a win, one win, one point is for a draw, zero points for losses. The two teams that compete the best in the four-team group are going to advance. They're going to be the 16 teams that advance to the knockout stage of Champions League. And from then on, they're going to get seeded or drawn to play against one another for each round. But before we get into that, I just want to explain why each group is made up of four and why and, and why it matters, why it's necessary, and why it's relevant moving forward. So first looking at group A as we go through each group. Uh, uh, looking through Group A, the Lot 1 team in this group was Man City, the winners of the Premier League. They finished out dominating, finishing 12 points ahead of second place Man U. And it is very likely that they are going to get Cristiano Ronaldo within the within the hours if they haven't already scooped him. Uh, also within that group is going to be PSG. They finished second in Ligue 1 last year, but of course after adding Gigi Donnarumma, along with Atraf Hakimi, Leo Messi, Sergio Ramos, etc. It looks as though they, they're looking to make a statement, especially in Champions League, after they got eliminated in the semifinals last year. Third in this group is Leipzig. Leipzig was able to finish here after Leipzig finished second in the Bundesliga last year, just ahead of Borussia Dortmund. Um, and then last in this group is Club Bruges. Club Bruges was able to make it here after they were able to win the Belgian League. Uh, so that is how they finished with the fourth seed in this group A. So that's how, and, and that's how that's going to match up. This is going to be an opportunity. Or Cristiano Ronaldo hasn't signed with Man City yet, but this could be an opportunity for Messi Ronaldo to play one another in Manchester and in Paris back and forth. So many people are looking forward to that. Looking out, so of course, many people are going to be looking out to what's going on in Group A. Looking out to Group B, the number one lot team in this group is Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid was able to make it here after finishing number one one in La Liga, finishing two points ahead of Real Madrid. So, of course, congratulations to them for secure for being the top seed in their group. The second seed went to Liverpool. Liverpool is entering this group after finishing third in the Premier League last season. Um, with now with Virgil Van Dijk back, of course, Liverpool is looking to make yet another statement. The third team in this group is Porto. Porto is able or Porto is here after finishing second in the Portuguese league last season. So of course they have a lot to play for, especially coming into this round. And then the fourth seed in this group is going to Milan. Milan is here after finishing second, or AC Milan is here after finishing second in Serie A last season. As this group looks to be a very tight contested group in between, I do not know as to who's going to come through. And I'll make my predictions at the very end. 
Looking at in Group C, the number one seed in that group is Sporting CP, the team that finished with the Portuguese title last season. Uh, Porto and Sporting CP are going to be the two teams that represent Portugal. Saying in Sporting CP's group, representing the Bundesliga is Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund is going to finish, or Dortmund is going to get the second seed here after finishing third in the Bundesliga last season behind Bayern and RB Leipzig. Um, but of course, with Erling Holland. Uh, they're ready to make a statement ever since Jaden Sancho left for Man U. Uh, the third team in that group is going to be Ajax. Ajax here after finishing as the top team in the Dutch league. They're the only team out of the Netherlands to qualify as PSV Eindhoven was not able to squeak past the playoff um, but regardless that's what the Champions League is for and then the fourth team in this group is Bastikas the only team that's going to be representing Turkey uh, so of course Bastikas congratulations to them for making it here they would make it here after finishing with the same amount of points as Galatasaray but having a better goal differ a goal differential of one better was a was what they needed in order to uh squeak into the next round so of course that is how Bastikas got there looking at the teams in group d the top team in group d was inter milan after finishing as the Serie A champion uh second team in that group is real madrid real madrid here after finishing second in la liga to atletico madrid and it is very possible that they could receive Kylian Mbappe before the transfer window closes. So Real Madrid looks like they're going to be a very interesting team, interesting development moving forward. The third team in this group is Shakhtar Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk is here after finishing second in the Ukrainian Premier League last season to Dynamo Kiev. Um, but of course, Shakhtar Donetsk making it here after they were able to beat Monaco on aggregates in order to qualify for this round so that's how Shakhtar got here and then finishing out group D is going to be the winners of the Moldovan league it was a uh, sheriff or FC Sheriff Tiris Bowl uh, so they're going to be the fourth team out of this group after Sheriff beat Dynamo Zagreb on aggregates in order to make it here so that is that is group d though those are half of those are 16 of the 32 teams looking at the other half of the teams that were selected for this draw jumping to group e the champion representing this group is bayern munich the winners of the bundesliga for the last season the i guess the nine time or are the nine straight defending champs as of right now they were able to finish first over second place leipzig by about 13 points Points that and Bayern Munich is they were they were the team that won Champions League in 2020. So of course they're most definitely formidable, even against PSG with how star studded they are. The second team in this group is going to be Barcelona. After Barcelona went on to finish third in La Liga last season, this is going to be their first Champions League season without Lionel Messi. The last time that they faced Bayern Munich in the table, they ended up getting housed 8-2 to two when Bayern went on to win Champions League. Um, the third team representing this group is going to be Benfica, representing uh, por the Portuguese league as Benfica went on to finish top of the Portuguese league, or just to give a sense of where they are. Uh, and... Or I'm sorry, they finished second in the Portuguese League. They're the second team to represent Portugal other than Sporting CP. And then the fourth team in Group E is going to be Dynamo Kiev out of the Ukrainian Premier League. They finished top of the Ukrainian Premier League to get a sense of how they got here. So, of course, they're still a formidable opponent as Group E may be more formidable as it seems. Uh, looking at how Group F is seeded, the champion representing Group F was Villarreal, the winners of Europa League last year, and they finished fifth in La Liga last year, but they are here because they won Europa League. Sitting second in this league is Man United. Man United here after finishing second in the Premier League last season. Of course, they are a team not to be reckoned with, and they might be the favorite out of this group, even though Villarreal beat them in Europa League final last year. And then the third team out of Group F is going to be Atalanta. Atalanta making it here after finishing as the third best team in Serie A last season. 
um, and then and then sitting the last in this group is going to be the only team representing the Swiss Super League. It'll be Young Boys. Young Boys making it here after Young Boys was able to squeak just past Ferenc Varos off of a 6-4 to four aggregate in the playoffs. So that's how they got here. And then jumping out to Group G, the champion representing Group G is Losc Lila, the winners of the French Ligue 1. Uh, the second team in this group is going to be Sevilla, the team that finished fourth, I believe, in La Liga. So, of course, that's where Sevilla is going to sit after Sevilla won Europa League in 2020. Uh, the third team representing Group G will be FC Salzburg or Red Bull Salzburg representing the Austrian Bundesliga. They were able to make it here after they ended up beating Bronby 4-2 off of aggregates in their round. So, of course, that's how they got here. Uh, and then jumping out... And then the fourth team representing Group G is going to be Wolfsburg, the team that finished fourth in the Bundesliga last year and the only team this season that has won their first two games in the Bundesliga season. That's going to be that group. Uh, and then finishing it out with Group H, starting at the top, the, the champion of this group is going to be Chelsea, the reigning champions of the Champions League from the 2021 season. Uh, the second in this group is going to be Juventus after they just squeaked by finishing fourth place in Serie A last season to make it here in the first place. Uh, the third team that's going to be represented will be Zenit St. Petersburg as they finish as the top team in Russia last season. And then last but not least, the fourth team out of Group H is going to be Malmo, the Swedish champions from last season, who were able to make it here after beating Ludogretz 3-2 off of aggregate in order to make it here. These are the 32 teams as they are divided into the eight groups. And I feel like if I were to guess which teams are going to make it through as we go through this, I were to guess that in the group in group a with man city psg leipzig and Bruja, i think it is a no-brainer that man city and paris make it through i think leipzig can most definitely shock the world but i think that group is man city and psgs in group b we're talking atletico liverpool porto and milan even though i wouldn't underestimate porto and milan i still think that group belongs to atletico and liverpool unless something crazy happens uh the group c or in group c with sporting cp from portugal dortmund ajax and bestikas I think that Dortmund is going to represent one team, and I think that Ajax is going to squeak past Sporting CP because I, I have not seen either of these teams, but if I were to call it, I would probably call, even though Sporting CP won the Portuguese league, I would put my money on Ajax. In Group D, in the group with Inter, Milan, Real Madrid, Shakhtar, and Sheriff, I think this group belongs to Inter and Real Madrid. I think that one's more of a no-brainer than the other groups. In Group E, with Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Benfica, and Dynamo Kiev, I think this group belongs to Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Uh, even though Benfica, of course, is very formidable, I think Barcelona, even without Messi, is still a much better team. Group F with Villarreal, Man United, Atalanta, and Young Boys. I think that Man United and Atalanta are going to be the two teams that make it out of this over Villarreal. And Group G with Lila, Sevilla, Salzburg, and Wolfsburg. I think the two teams that are going to make it out of here are going to be Lila and Wolfsburg, surprisingly, because I think that Wolfsburg might be one of those teams that might be coming around. They might squeak in there. They could probably... Uh, be a poison pill in that group. And then in Group H with Chelsea, Juventus, Zenit, St. Petersburg, and Malmo, I think just with that, I, I think that group is pretty set. I think that's Chelsea and Juventus. With that said, I want to thank everybody for listening to all 13 and a half minutes to start. I want to thank the UEFA website. Uh, and of course, the red, red, the thank you. I want to thank Google for giving me the respective tables for the leagues all around the world, for giving me the facts and figures that I needed for this episode. And once again, I want to thank everyone for listening to this piece. Um, once we are halfway through the group stage, or I guess once the group stage, I, 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 I guess once the group stage matchups are announced, then I will drop this episode. And with that said, I want to thank everyone once again for listening to this piece. Once we are halfway through group stage, I'll give everyone an update. But until then, thanks for listening to my piece. I hope all is well. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another episode of The Elite. Until then, thanks for listening and peace out. I'll catch you with more tomorrow.